This Jules new update is insane. Today I'm going to show you the craziest Jules update yet. Jules now watches your deployments and fixes errors automatically. This is the missing piece between writing code and shipping real products. No more deploy fails, no more broken builds, Jules handles it all. So let me tell you what just happened. Jules dropped an update that changes everything about how we ship code. And I mean everything. Before this update, Jules could write your code, Jules could open pull requests, Jules could make your app work perfectly on your local machine. But then what? You still had to deploy it yourself. You still had to watch the deploy. You still had to fix the errors when things broke. Not anymore. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Jules now integrates directly with Render. And when I say integrates, I don't mean some basic connection where it just pushes code. No, Jules actually watches your deployment happen in real time. It sees the build logs, it sees the errors. And here's the crazy part. If something breaks during deployment, Jules fixes it automatically. Let me say that again. Jules fixes deployment errors automatically without you doing anything. You think about what this means. You're working on a project. You tell Jules what you want to build. Jules writes the code. Jules opens a pull request. You merge it and then Jules watches the deploy happen on render. The build starts. Maybe there's a missing dependency. Maybe there's a configuration error. Maybe there's a port issue. Jules sees it, Jules fixes it, Jules redeploys, all while you're doing literally anything else. You could be making coffee, you could be in a meeting, you could be sleeping. Jules is handling the entire deployment pipeline. This is what I call closing the loop, because before this, there was always a gap. The gap between code working on your machine and code working in production, that gap is where most projects die. That gap is where developers spend hours debugging environment issues. That gap is where simple typos become four hour nightmares. Jules just eliminated that gap. Let me walk you through exactly how this works. You start a project with Jules. Let's say you want to build a web app. You tell Jules what features you need. Jules starts writing the code. Jules creates the components. Jules sets up the back end. Jules configures the database. All of this is happening through conversation. You're not writing code. You're not switching between files. You're just talking to Jules about what you want. Now Jules finishes the code. In the old workflow, Jules would open a pull request and stop there. You'd have to review it, merge it, then manually deploy to render, then watch the logs, then fix whatever broke, then redeploy. It was still way better than coding from scratch, but it wasn't fully automated. This update changes that completely. Now, when Jules opens that pull request, on a render project, something different happens. Jules doesn't just stop, Jules keeps watching. You merge the pull request. Render starts the deployment automatically. And Jules is watching the entire process. The build logs are streaming. Jules sees every line, every command, every output. Jules is monitoring everything in real time. Now, if you wanna dive even deeper into AI automation, I've got something special for you. I run a community called the AI Profit Boardroom. The best place to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds with AI automation. Learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Jules. The link is in the comments and description. It's at school.com slash AI Profit Lab. Here's where it gets good. The build starts running. Maybe your app needs a specific version of Node. Maybe the environment variables aren't set right. Maybe there's a build script that fails. The old way, you'd see the error. You'd have to figure out what went wrong. You'd have to fix the code. You'd have to commit again. You'd have to wait for another deploy. That could take 20 minutes or two hours or all day if the error was tricky. Jules sees the error the second it happens. Jules reads the error message. Jules understands what went wrong. And here's the insane part. Jules fixes it immediately. Jules updates the configuration. Jules installs the missing package. Jules corrects the environment setup. Jules pushes the fix. And the deployment continues. You didn't do anything. You didn't even know there was an error. Jules handled it, but it gets better. Because Jules doesn't just fix one error and call it done. Jules watches the entire deployment from start to finish. If there are multiple errors, Jules fixes all of them, one after another, until your app is live and running perfectly. This is like having a senior DevOps engineer who never sleeps, never takes breaks, and fixes problems faster than any human could. Let me give you a real example. You're building an API. Jules writes all the endpoints. Jules sets up the database connections. Jules configures authentication. You merge the pull request. The deployment starts on render, the build runs, everything looks good, then boom, runtime error. The database connection string is wrong. In the old world, your app is down, you're scrambling, you're checking the logs, you're trying to figure out where the connection string goes, you're updating environment variables, 
you're redeploying, that's at least 30 minutes. With this update, Jules sees the error instantly. Jules knows the database connection failed. Jules checks the render environment settings. Jules updates the connection string. Jules redeploys total time, maybe two minutes, and you didn't lift a finger. You might not have even noticed there was a problem. Your app just goes from broken to working automatically. This is the future of software development. This is what everyone's been waiting for because the hardest part of building apps isn't writing code anymore. AI can write code. The hardest part is deployment, getting your code from your machine to the cloud, making sure it actually works when real users hit it, dealing with all the random errors that only show up in production. That's what kills projects. That's what makes people give up. Jules just solved that problem. And here's what makes this really powerful. Jules learns from every deployment, every error Jules fixes makes Jules better at catching similar errors in the future. So the more you use Jules, the smoother your deployments become. It's like having a deployment system that gets smarter every time you use it. The first deployment might have five errors, Jules fixes them. The next deployment might have two errors, Jules fixes them faster. By the 10th deployment, Jules is catching issues before they even become errors. Now let's talk about what this means for different types of developers. If you're a solo developer building a side project, this is huge. You don't need to learn DevOps. You don't need to understand Docker or Kubernetes or any of that stuff. You just build your app with Jules. Jules deploys it. Jules keeps it running. You focus on features and users. That's it. If you're a startup founder who codes, this changes your velocity completely. You can ship features multiple times a day. No more waiting for deployments. No more deployment Fridays where nothing gets shipped because you're scared of breaking production over the weekend. Jules is watching. Jules will fix it. You can move faster than ever. If you're working on a team, this reduces the load on your DevOps people. They're not constantly fixing deployment issues. They're not being pinged at midnight because the deploy failed. Jules handles the routine stuff. Your team can focus on architecture and scaling, not on debugging why the build failed for the third time today. And here's something nobody's talking about yet. This makes learning to code so much easier. One of the biggest hurdles for new developers is deployment. You can follow a tutorial, you can build an app locally, but then you try to deploy it and everything breaks. The errors don't make sense. The logs are confusing, you give up. With Jules and Render working together, that barrier disappears. You build something, Jules deploys it, it just works. You can focus on learning to code instead of learning DevOps. The technical details here are really interesting too. Jules is using Render's API to watch deployments, but it's not just passively watching. Jules has access to make changes. Jules can update your code. Jules can modify configuration files. Jules can adjust environment variables all through the same conversational interface you're already using. You don't need to learn a new tool. You don't need to context switch. You're just talking to Jules and Jules is handling everything in the background. This also means Jules can handle different types of projects, web apps, appears, background workers, static sites, Whatever you're building on render, Jules can watch the deployment and fix issues. It's not limited to one framework or one language. Jules understands the deployment process itself. So whether you're deploying a next.js app or a Python API or a Ruby service, Jules knows what to look for. Jules knows what can go wrong and Jules knows how to fix it. Now, if you wanna dive even deeper into AI automation, I've got something special for you. I run a community called the AI Profit Boardroom, the best place to scale your business get more customers and save hundreds with AI automation. Learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Jules. The link is in the comments and description is at school.com slash AI Profit Lab. And if you want the full process, SOPs and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI.